stories are the Getzkos. They are a group of brothers and sisters that immigrated to the United States in the 1860s and 1870s and became early pioneers in the Carver County, Minnesota area. The man in the upper right hand corner is William Getzko. He is the main subject of this video. William or Wilhelm Getzko as he was known back then and Carolina Ross are the parents to Emil Getzko, grandparents to Myrtle Getzko, great grandparents to Shirley Jensen, and great great grandparents to Sandy, Mike, Gary, and Tony Braun. William was the first son born to Friedrich August Getzko and Louisa Schmidt on March 13, 1847 in Damshagen, Pommern, Germany, and was baptized in the Lutheran faith. Damshagen is a small town in the Pommern region of Germany and is northeast of what is now Hamburg near the border of Denmark and near the Baltic Sea. Pommern itself translates to by the sea and at the time of William's birth was part of the kingdom of Prussia within the German Empire. When reviewing historical records, the name Getzko has had several variations. Even when coming to the U.S., the name continued to change. After William was born, his parents had five more children, two sisters, Albertina and Louise, and three brothers, Carl, Herman, and Henry. No doubt that Frederic, the oldest, was named after the father and Louisa after the mother. At the age of 18, William decided to become a sailor and join the German Merchant Marines. Merchant ships were very big in that time for both the transport of goods as well as people. The ships themselves were part steam engine and part sailing ship. As people were emigrating from Europe at the time, the Merchant Marine ships would take passengers to the expanding United States, then bring back goods to Europe. This is what a young William Getzko decided to do. Somewhere around 1865 or 1866, young William emigrated to the United States and landed in New York. The American Civil War had just ended and people were immigrating from Germany in droves. After arriving, stories say that William lived in New York for a period of time and then in the San Francisco area, but no records could be found of him at any time in either of these areas. While William was traveling around the U.S., his family started settling in the Carver County, Minnesota area. First Carolina in 1871, then Herman in 1873, then his parents, Albertine, Lizzie, all came in 1874. Carl and Frederic came to Chaska in 1877, which made the entire family close to each other once again. White people had begun settling in this area immediately after the Dakota conflict in 1862 where Native Americans revolted against the government because they were late on payments to the Native Americans and they were near starvation. White traders had refused to extend credit to the Dakota and they had little choice for surviving other than to try to take back their land. The war started in Acton, Minnesota, moved to Fort Ridgely nearby, and resulted in the town of New Ulm being burned to the ground, as well as nearby Camden. The conflict lasted for a few months with hundreds of white settlers killed, hundreds more were taken hostage, and thousands of Dakota were killed. This was just a few short years before the Getzko settled in the area. It's unclear when William actually settled in the area. He doesn't show up in the censuses in 1870 or 1880, but the first records we do see of William are in 1884 when he married his wife Carolina. There are not many records on his wife Carolina Ross, but Land Platt records show that there was a Ross family nearby the Getzkos in the Camden area. Censuses also show that Carolina Ross was born in 1850 in Germany, but it's not known when she came to the United States. The couple was married on July 20th, 1885 in Young America. William was 38 years old, Carolina was 35. Just a year later, 
The couple had their first child, Carl William Getzko, on September 10, 1886. Carl was most likely named after William's brother, Carl, who had immigrated to the U.S. after William and lived nearby. Almost two years later came their second son. Emil Otto Heinrich Getzka was born on July 22, 1888. Emil is the grandfather of Shirley Braun and the great-grandfather of myself. Just one year later came the first girl born to the couple. Martha Getzka was born on August 8, 1889. However, three weeks after Martha was born on August 29th, Carolina became sick and died. The church records only show the cause of death as being fever. Eleven days later, on September 9th, Martha died as well. Now, William, after losing his wife and newborn girl, is 42 years old and has two children, three years old and one years old, and is a widower. Just over six months later, on March 25, 1890, William remarried. Ironically enough, he married another woman named Carolina, this time Carolina Henning. She was born in Germany in 1859, 12 years younger than William. The new couple went on to have five more children, Reinhold, Ida, Lizzie, most likely named after William's mother, Louisa, Gustav, and Augusta, most likely named after William's father. The family was settled and growing as the turn of the century came. The country was going through a lot of change as well. In 1901, McKinley was shot by an assassin and Teddy Roosevelt was sworn in as our 26th president. In 1903, the Wright brothers launched their historic flight at Kitty Hawk and that same year Henry Ford introduced the Model T. During this time, the Getzko family continued to live in the area. William and Carolina lived in Camden Township with brother Herman just a few properties down. In 1914, things began to heat up around the world. The family had come from Germany, and that country was now right in the middle of World War I. The United States joined the war in 1917 and began recruiting young men to go fight against the Germans. The war was so heavy on people's mind that nearby New Germany actually renamed their town to Motordale for the time being. The couple's son, Reinhold, was drafted and joined the service in 1917 and was ready to go to war. However, he died in Fort Dix, New Jersey, just under a month and a half before the end of the war. In 1926, the Minneapolis newspaper came out and did a story on the Getzkos. They called them pioneers in the Carver County area, and the youngest person in the picture here at the time in 1926 was 70 years old. William and Carolina lived out their days in the Camden area. William passed away on June 13, 1932, of asthma, and Carolina passed away three years later in 1935. William and Carolina Henning are buried together in the Crow River Cemetery in New Germany, Minnesota. There are still many descendants of William and both of his wives in the Carver County area today. <laughs>